those days, Caesar, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, to the, ta the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over the flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and, they, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah of the Lord. He will be assigned to you. You will find a baby, wrapped in cobs, and lying in the manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those who whom his favor rest. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about the, this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen which were just as they had been told.